Okay, everybody, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to give you the sequence, uh, the refractive sequence that I perform post BSBVA. So up to this point, you've done your perfect binocular subjective to best visual acuity. So you've got your patient seeing beautifully in the distance. I'm going to give you the four metric testing sequence that you would need to complete from that point to the very, very end. I'm going to show you now how to do distance Fourier's and distance vergences as well as near Fourier's and vergences that I've previously shown you, near fuse cross cylinder, as well as our um, uh, near PRA NRA. Okay, so uh, Phoebe has just finished her BSBV8. We're going to go ahead and do her distance Fourier's and vergences. I have a 2025 target up. It's an isolated letter T. Um, both eyes are now open. And so the next step is I'm going to go ahead and put my prisms in place. I'm going to have you close your eyes, Phoebe, if you don't mind. I'm going to rotate them in, get them set up. So I need to rotate this. So I've got uh, 6 base up OS and 12 base in OD. And I'm going to have you go ahead and open your eyes now, Phoebe. When you look over there, do you see two eye charts, two letter T's? Yes. Okay. Um, when I do this, which one disappears? The one on the upper right or the one on the lower left? The upper right. Great. I want you to stay focused on that one right there, the one on the lower left. Keep it as clear as you can. Tell me when they line up vertically like buttons on a shirt. There. Good. I'm going to go past. Keep that bottom one focused. Tell me when they line up again. There. Good, so I've got 4-4 four, four ESO, because it's base out, so 4-4 four, four ESO. Close your eyes for a second. I'm going to reset it, so I've got 12 base in, 6 base up. Go ahead and open. Do you see two charts, two letters? Yes. When I cover this one, which one disappears? Bottom left. Great. I want you to stay focused on that one right there for me, Phoebe. Keep it as clear as you can. Tell me when this one comes right up beside it and they line up like headlights on a car. Here we go. There. Good. I'm going to go past. Tell me when they line up again. There. Good. So I've got uh, 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 left base down. Close your eyes, Phoebe. And open your eyes. We're rolling right into our vertical vergences or ductions. Do you see one eye chart and one letter T? Yes. Please tell me when that letter T splits into two. Two. Good. I'm going to go past. Tell me when it comes back into one. One. Three, three, uh, infraduction. And tell me when they split again. Two. And when they come back to one. One. And two slash one supraduction. So I'm going to have you close your eyes again, Phoebes. Now we're going to go ahead and do our horizontal vergences. Go ahead and open your eyes. Do you see just one? Yes. Okay. I want you to tell me when you see two, uh, when you see that uh, letter T either go blurry or split into two. Two. And when you see one again. One. So 10 slash 6 of base in. And tell me when you see two again. Two. And when you see one again. One. And then 18 slash 13. Mm, 18 slash 15, sorry. 18 slash 15, base out. Okay? So now we've done our horizontal and vertical forias. We've done our uh, vertical and horizontal uh, vergences. Now we'll roll into our near point testing. I'll have you close your eyes again, Phoebe. To do that, we're going to drop our reading rod down. We're going to do our Fourier's invergences at near first. I'm going to rotate my lenses and get them set up. So I've got 6 base up OS. I've got 12 base NOD. I'm going to rotate my PD in. I'm going to bring my overhead light on. And I'm going to have Phoebe go ahead and open her eyes. Do you see two diamonds there, Phoebe? Yes. When I cover up this one, which one disappears? The bottom left. And how about this one? The top right. Good. I want you to stay focused on that target right there, Phoebe, the one on the lower left. Keep it as clear as you can. Tell me when the other one lines up above it.
Now. I'm going to go way past. Tell me when they line up again. Now. So here I have 6, 8 exo, or ESO, excuse me. 6, 8 ESO. Reset it. Watch the top one now, Phoebe. Watch this one right here. Keep it as clear as you can. Tell me when they go side by side. No. Good. I'm going to go past. Tell me when they line up side by side again. No. And 0, 0 on the uh, vertical. I'm going to get it all set up again here. We'll go ahead and do our, oops, excuse me, vertical vergences. Do you see just one? Yes. Tell me when it splits into two. I'm going to go past. Tell me when you see one. One. So four slash four infraduction. Tell me when you see two again. Two. And when you see one again. One. Four slash four superduction. Now we'll set her up and tell me when you see um, either blurry or the letters split into two. Again, doing base in first. Blur. So here we have 15, when you see 2, two. 15 slash 22, and when you see 1 again, one. 18, 15 slash 22 slash 18, and tell me when they go blurry again, or double. And when you see two? Two. So I've got 23, 34, and when you see one again? One. 23, 34, 28. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to roll into our NRA, will be our next test. As you're looking out here, Phoebe, do you see those letters still? Yes. I want you to tell me when those letters get so blurry you couldn't read any of them at all. Here. Okay. I'm going to go two pass. Tell me when you could read a couple. So here I have a plus 3 over a plus 250, so plus 3 um, is the blur out, plus 250 is the recovery. At this point in time, I now have my preset lens in place to do the fuse cross cylinder, so I'm going to go ahead and rotate into that. The plus minus 50 lenses go in place, the overhead light goes up, the cross grid target gets rotated into place, the lights go down, and as you're looking at that target, Phoebe, which set of lines are darker and more distinct, the vertical or the horizontal? The vertical. Excellent. And here? Vertical. And here? Vertical. And here? Vertical. And here? Vertical. Mm, equal. Horizontal. Fantastic. And I'll open this back up. So Phoebe's end point on her fuse cross cylinder is plus one and a quarter net because again we started out at plus 75 was her BSBVA. So now we have her uh, NRA is done, fuse cross cylinder is done. The last thing we have to do is her PRA. So I'll rotate the lenses back in place, put the light back on it. I've taken out the plus minus 50 uh, cross cylinder and now we're going to max out her accommodative effort. Phoebe, tell me when those letters get so blurry you couldn't read any of them. Mm -hmm. Here we've now hit three diopters net, so we are going beyond three diopters. Phoebe is still seeing those letters, so I would simply stop here and record greater than minus 3.00 net for her PRA and you're done. Okay. Now, as we progress through this sequence of events from the BSBVA through all of your four metric testing to the very end, I have given you what I consider to be the most efficient way to progress through that. 
Now, as you go through case analysis and some of our other courses, there's a very set order in which the tests are to be performed. That's okay. And, and that's meant to allow you to analyze one case relative to another case. Clinically, you'll be able to go through and you'll modify your sequence to make it the most efficient and effective while still giving you the information that you need in a meaningful way. Again, this is my particular method uh, to get from the BSBBA through the end of our four metric testing. Hopefully this helps you all and uh, we'll see you in lab.